All right then, so if I want to use a specific image by its ID, I need to be able to pass it into the query string and I must have that image returned to me at the size that I gave, but we also need to think about caching as well. So we're gonna need to update a little bit in here as well. So we have all of our images inside of cache images. We can go ahead and remove these if we need to. The first thing I want to do is update this to go ahead and adjust my query based on that uh, query string that we pass in. So the best way to do this, because we need to kind of modify the query, we want to kind of keep the same thing. We don't want to repeat this line of code within an if statement. What I like to do is say something like clause and then inject that into uh, the query. And then of course we need to use prepared statements for this because we're passing something from the query string directly into our query. So we need to think about security here as well. So what we're going to do is using the request that we have inside of here, we can actually say get image and that will give us that value that we use in the query string. So if we just kill the page here and go ahead and just die and dump on clause or just kill the page on clause, give that a refresh, we see five. So we have that value now that we can use uh, to check. Now I'm going to do a ternary here to check if that is a value because this will be null otherwise. And then I'm going to say where ID equals and then a question mark that I can later bind in. So we're checking if that exists the clause will be a specific ID, which will pull out one image only. Now, otherwise, we basically just want to order by rand and then limit to one. So we can go ahead and get rid of this and pop that in there. And then really simply into here, we can just place our clause. So we can put that in there. And now depending on whether that's been passed into the query string, we now have either where ID equals one or two or three up to 10, which will always return us one image, or we're ordering by random and we're limiting by one. Now, of course, at the moment, we're not actually passing the uh, ID of the image in. So we need to do this within an array as the second argument. And this is just the value that we want to bind in or the values we want to bind in in order if we had more than one. And of course, we know where that comes from. It comes from request and we say get image like so. Now, it doesn't matter if we're ordering by rand, limiting by one, and we're passing this in as well. So we do have this passed in even if we don't have something in, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter too much. It's not going to affect the way it works. So now that we've done this, we know that this is gonna give us back a specific image. If I just go ahead and refresh here, I don't think this is actually image five. So even if we change this over, notice that we're still getting the same item back. So what we really need to go ahead and do is update our cache. So this takes this into account. Now by this, I mean that we're gonna add onto here the image that we're potentially requesting. So we're gonna say request get image. And now of course that's not going to exist in the cache. So now what we can do is for a specific width, a specific height and a specific image, we can grab this and uh, go ahead and cache it based on that as well. So this is just making it a little bit more unique. Now what we can do then is come over here and say, well, I want image one and there we go, we have image one. We can change the width and the height over, and of course, that will still bring us back image one, but of course, it will cache it at this, at this specific width and at this specific height. So we can go ahead and change this as well if we want to. We could do the same width and height for image two. That would cache that at 500 by 500. We can adjust that and still get image two. So now we pretty much have the caching in place, but we have more flexibility to pull out a specific image if we want to. And there we go. That is how we update this to specify the image that we want to see, but still cache it for that width and for that height. So we speed up our responses.